In this video, let us continue to solve more problems based on trigonometric ratios of multiple and submultiple angles. So, what we've got is we've got a problem which reads like this it says, uh, find the value of tan pi by 8. So, again, without a doubt, please go back to tan a by 2. Okay, remember the formula that is nothing but plus or minus square root of 1 minus cos a divided by 1 plus cos a. All right, now you know that you have to take a is equal to pi by 4 to make this angle pi by 8, right? So, when you take a as pi by 4, this becomes tan of pi by 8 equal to plus or minus square root of 1 minus cos pi by 4 divided by 1 plus cos pi by 4. Now, cos pi by 4 happens to be cos 45 degrees, which is a standard angle, right? So, you're going to get tan of pi by 8 is equal to plus or minus square root of 1 minus 1 by square root of 2 divided by 1 plus 1 by square root of 2, solving which you'll get tan pi by 8 equal to plus or minus square root of root 2 minus 1 divided by square root of 2 plus 1, okay? So, now since it is the same numbers with different signs, so let's quickly rationalize it to get rid of the square root. So, what we'll do is tan pi by 8 will be equal to plus or minus square root of, let's rationalize the denominator here. Root 2 minus 1 times root 2 minus 1. And in the denominator will be root 2 plus 1 times root 2 minus 1. Right? So, this will be square. So, it will be tan pi by 8 will be equal to plus or minus root 2 minus 1 square root of root 2 minus 1 into root 2 minus 1 is root 2 minus 1 the whole square so it's going to be root 2 minus 1 divided by now this is going to be root 2 into root 2 you know a square minus b square so it'll be 2 minus 1 which is just 1 so root 2 by 1 so it is as good as you know writing just root 2 minus 1 so the value of tan pi by 8 is nothing but plus or minus root 2 minus 1 let me use a bracket here Right, so that ends this problem. Let's quickly solve another one. I think we've solved a lot of pi by 8, so let's solve a different one now. Sine, say, pi by 12. No matter what the angle is, we have to go to that sine of a by 2, which is equal to plus or minus square root of 1 minus cos a divided by 2. So now, what we have to take a as here. Take a as, it's pi by 12, right? So, we need to take a as pi by 6 to make it as pi by 12. Then it will be sine pi by 12 will be equal to plus or minus uh, square root of 1 minus cos pi by 6 divided by 2. So, sine pi by 12 will be equal to plus or minus square root of 1 minus cos pi by 6 is what? 180 by 6 is cos 30. So, cos 30 is root 3 by 2. So, it will be minus root 3 by 2 divided by 2. And solving it, we will get sine pi by 12 will be equal to plus or minus square root of 2 minus root 3 divided by 2 divided by 2 by 1. So, it will be equal to plus or minus square root of 2 minus root 3 by 2 into 1 by 2. So, it will be square root of 2 minus root 3 divided by 4. So, sine pi by 12 will be equal to plus or minus square root of 2 minus root 3 divided by 4. Alright, so that ends this problem as well as this video. So, this is how you, know, you have to solve most of the problems that's got, you know, the trigonometric functions such as pi by 8, pi by 12, pi by 16 and so on. All you have to do, the major concept here is to, the basic thing is to straight away go to sine a by 2 or cos a by 2 or tan a by 2. But what you take A is the most important thing. I'm sure you've got it by now. You need to take A in such a way that, you know, when you substitute the value of A, you're going to get that value from the question. So that's all you have to do. All right. So I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more problems based on trigonometric ratios of multiple and submultiple angles.